Trojan second round back today, so today is going to be canter day and no lunging for warm up. I prefer not to lunge unless it's absolutely necessary, and as you can see yesterday, it was most definitely necessary. I've started off how I did yesterday during my basic warm up, and today I've upped the ante a little bit to incorporate some lateral work prior to the canter transition to ensure he is through, connected, and listening to me. The more I can have him organised behind, the more chance I have of getting a good canter transition straight up with no mistakes. While I might appear to be being a little cautious, he is a stallion and we are in the middle of breeding season currently and we do have mares on property, so better to be safe than sorry. In the world of horses and riding, preparation is paramount. Now that I feel Trojan has warmed up sufficiently, I'm going to ask for the counter transition. Now, as you can see here, this first transition, I've brought him back to walk because I felt his back drop and him hollow out, which means he would have run into the canter rather than stepping under into the canter, and that's not what I want to train. You can see the second transition went smoothly and he maintained the connection, rhythm and tempo through the transition into the canter. He has a good jump in the canter, plenty of ground cover and good hawk action. Here we have another good transition, which is what I'm looking for, which means I've done my warm up correctly and he's ready to keep going with his daily job. Now that Trojan's warmed up in the working canter, I'm going to start asking for some walk canter, canter walk transitions and some simple changes with some more collection in the canter. So basically I'm just increasing the degree of difficulty in the work as he's feeling like he's ready for it and asking for some more engagement in the back end. Thank you for watching today's training video. If you have any questions or would you like to see something in more detail, please drop a comment below. For more training tips, please subscribe to our channel, KPH Horse Training Tips.